Ed O'Bannon, American hero. Who's Ed O'Bannon, you ask? Yes, well, I'm glad you did. He used to play basketball at UCLA in the mid, early, mid-90s. And, uh, and what happened was he sued the NCAA because they would not let him use his image and likeness to profit off his own basketball playing skills at UCLA. And ironically, UCLA was using his image and likeness to profit off his name, but they would not let him. He said, no, that ain't right. So he sued. And what has ultimately happened? As of today, the NCAA is dead because Ed O'Bannon's lawsuit, I don't know if, if his lawsuit was the ultimate victor in this case, but the college athletes can now use their names, image, and likeness to get paid. I tell you, this is huge. I, I, I am so flipping excited for these guys. I, I cannot even begin to tell you how, how happy I am that because uh, a lot of these guys are poor black kids they don't have any anyone helping them out except for sinister people who are just taking advantage of them coaches the schools all that and then once they lose their skill set or their talent or they get put deep on the bench no one cares anymore and then they go back to being poor black kids and even more pissed off because they're like look I, all these guys are making money off of my contribution everyone but me it was complete you know, indentured servitude, without question. Complete systematic racism. And uh, I could not be happier, because I think it's great. I think a poor kid from Georgia who goes to Georgia Tech, for instance, for just, you know, on a scholarship, right? And he can use his uh, image, likeness, and name, and he can get paid by sponsors. He can get, I, I, I freaking think it's awesome. And I also think it's gonna be great for college sports. Think about it. You can be paid while you're representing Georgia Tech in college athletics. I mean, you can represent freaking, uh, what's that one down in Macon? I forgot, but you can be Mercer. You can be getting paid while you're, you might be a, uh, a Division I student, uh, you know, uh, athlete, but you might not be the number one guy in the state of Georgia, but you're like, hey, you know, a couple guys, but I'm pretty good. I could play, you know, second string on the SEC Georgia. I could play first string at Georgia Tech, but I could dominate a Mercer. So I'm going to Mercer. And some of the Mercer alumni and whatnot will pay. Yeah. This freaking this free agency run, I, I think it's fantastic. Why should you only get paid once you hit the NFL? And very few get paid at that point. But yet the college athletic department and the coaches are all getting paid while you were performing, you know, as a lineman, a second string guy. They were all getting paid. You weren't. Oh, I love it. I, Cause I hate the NCAA. I hate them like a, I hate them with a passion. And this is fantastic. So what's gonna happen now? Like I just listened to Clay Travis. He said this 100%. The reason I say Ed O'Bannon, cause he's the first person who brought the lawsuit. I remember that. I don't remember if he's the one who ultimately won. I don't know, but he's the one who started this whole thing. I'm, I'm, we're talking like 15 years ago, man. And uh, if it weren't for him, there'd be another guy, I grant you. But still, he's the guy who started. Everyone said, no, you can't do that. And everyone else like, how, how are we going to, how's this going to work? I don't know how it's going to work. But guess what? Poor kids are going to be getting paid. And that's good. Dude, what are you doing, man? This is a roundabout. Guess what? Poor kids might make mistakes with money. Well, guess what? Coaches or adult coaches make mistakes with money. <laughs> it's, but it's the, it's the part of the system. That said, if you're a poor kid, not, not a poor kid, if you're a kid, you cannot get paid. But yet, you're going to make money for everybody else. The whole thing was just horribly racist. 100%. The only way to get paid is to go to the NFL. It's nuts. And, I mean, just read these stories of these guys at Ohio State, at Clemson and stuff, at, at Georgia. Uh, just freaking desperate for money to help their mom back home and they couldn't get it anyway so they sign an autograph and now they're they lose their uh, eligibility and now they go to call they go to the nfl they're not quite ready so they wash out it's just the whole thing is nuts it's such an evil system and the funny thing was all these black lives matter people these pro black guys the ben crumps and jesse jackson the world never said a damn thing about this that's why they're all fakesters man but you know who wasn't a fakester ed o'bannon what is he doing now? I don't know. I have any idea. 
No idea. I just remember Ed O'Bannon. I said, man, if he can, if, oh, he's got guts. And his attorneys, because I don't think Ed O'Bannon, I don't know if he ever, I think he did go to the NBA. I don't think he had much of a career. But, it, you know, the attorneys who took it on his behalf, um, dude, what are you doing? This guy does not know how a, a roundabout works. The attorneys who, dude, God. Oh my lens. The attorney who took it on his behalf are freaking heroes. That's all I got to say about that. And I am so excited. It's going to be great to see how college sports goes because what's going to happen now? Again, you could be a, let's say you could be a, a, a deep, um, you know, deep in the bench for the University of Georgia basketball team. Or you could go to tech and be a, you know, be a starter. You see what I'm saying? And let's just say you're a five star recruit. You're like, well, I don't want to ride, you know, be the seventh man on the, I don't want to be the seventh man on the bench. I want to be a starter, so I'm going to go to Tech. Or I, again, I'm going to go to Mercer. I'm going to go to any place. Tennessee Tech It's going to make college sports that much more uh, uh, evened out. What's the word that Pete Rosell used to say? Oh, man, I'm dry. I can't believe I can't remember this word. Where every team has a chance to win the Super Bowl. Uh, it's even, but he called it equitable. Not even equitable. There's another word I can't remember. Oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. It's going to make it more equitable. So it won't just be Alabama every year. It won't just be the SEC every year. There's going to be some serious good talent that's going to go to Appalachian State, some serious talent that's going to go to Boise State because they're like, look, I cannot play for Alabama. I just, I'll be one of many, but at Boise State, I'll be one of one, and I can probably get paid too. I'll get paid more to be the number one guy at Boise State than I would be the, be the number 30 guy at Alabama. Oh, that's fantastic. I am so excited. All right, we'll see you.